Hi there, I'm Clive Dougal, I'm the winemaker at Saracen Estate here in uh, sunny Marlborough, New Zealand. Today's an exciting day, first day of harvest for us. We've um, just picked some Chardonnay um, for our uh, sparkling wine base. That's not a wine you guys probably be used to that we make and uh, it's not on the market here yet, but it will be in a couple of years. Um, we're into our third vintage, it's all sitting on leaves, so you'll have to wait for that one. For those of you who don't know, Saracen are a fully certified organic and biodynamic uh, vineyard and we've achieved our certification for from Demeter um, uh, last year, it was very exciting news. You know, we specialise in Sauvignon Blanc, Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, Riesling. Um, we have a little touch of Viognier too. And, you know, we, we hand pick everything at this estate. Um, we only use natural yeast to ferment the wine. And I guess um, we do all that just because we believe that's going to make the best wine, but also make the wine that says the most about the place that we come from. And, and we'll express these vines and this earth and hopefully the people and the vintage too. The reason that we uh, practice biodynamics isn't because we're eco-warriors and we want to be tree huggers, it's uh, that we actually believe we're going to make better wine that way. Certainly being environmental is at the uh, heart of everything that we do. But we believe with biodynamics you'll make the best wine and um, also the most expressive wine. You know, the wine that uh, says the most about the place and the people and the vintage. So today you'll um, have the opportunity to taste three of our wines. Um, particularly excited because they're all new release wines. Um, I guess that's the point of the tasting. The 2006 um, Dry Riesling, that, that's a wine that we like to age for four or five years before we release it. It's very, very tight when we first make it and uh, has very little residual sugar. It's just a couple of grams. And so it takes a long time for it to sort of just soften out and become, I guess, uh, to bring some complexities in. At the beginning, it's very tight and clean. It's a wine that I think you'll enjoy. It's certainly a popular wine in the English market. The 2009 Viognier is the other wine that I'm particularly excited to be showing today because it's actually our inaugural one. It's the first one after, that we've managed to produce after many years of trial and error. Um, a pretty serious Viognier, um, lovely texture, amazing aromatics, but um, a labour of love for us and um, very small quantities and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Finally, the, um, the 2009 Reserve Sauvignon Blanc. And, and that's a wine that I guess we, we started making four vintages ago to really see how far we could push the boundary of Sauvignon Blanc to see how good we thought we could make the wine. Um, using oak with Sauvignon Blanc helps to give you a bit more richness. You get a slightly hotter fermentation happening in these barrels because you can't control it like you can in stainless steel. Um, and what that does is gives you more texture, more complexity, but you lose a bit of the fruit aroma. That's not something we're too worried about. So uh, we're trying to make a wine here for the table. Um, the Reserve Sauvignon is pretty much the best that we can do. Very old uh, vines, very low crops, gentle handling, a portion of oak, um, which you won't taste in the wine at all, but you'll hopefully feel the richness. Well, I moved to New Zealand 12 years ago to chase this crazy dream of being a winemaker, and I probably never dreamed that I'd have ended up in such an amazing place. You know, um, to have the opportunity to, to make wines um, at the highest level, and the inclination of Michael, the owner, to to say, I want you to make great wine, just not average wine. Um, that's an easy thing to say, but um, often isn't the case. So we, uh, we try to, I guess, make wines, bringing a bit of the old world and the new world together. Um, my idea is that we have amazing fruit in terms of fruit concentration and fruit um, character in the grapes that we can grow here in Marlborough. Um, and I like to use more old world winemaking techniques to kind of bring the the new world fruit and the old world kind of complexity together and so uh, hopefully the, the wines will tell you that story and um, you'll often find our wines have a have a little side a, uh, a question in the glass if you like something that makes you go back and have another look it's a shame i can't be there with you um, to, the, uh, to take you through the wines um, i'd like to say i'd like to be with you but i wouldn't it's a beautiful sunny day here we're just starting harvest this is the time of the year that we get excited by so uh, I hope you enjoy the tasting. London's my hometown, believe it or not, but uh, I don't miss it that much at this time of year. And don't forget to uh, get around to our table and uh, give the guys from Armits a bit of a, um, a bit of attention. Thanks a lot.